Good morning, happy Monday. I have Neuro Coffee in hand and it is perfect as usual. It is a beautiful Monday. The sun is starting to come up. It's still cold. I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm a little disappointed in that, um, considering that it, it's a it's a big month. But um, let's go ahead and dive right into the Q and A, because um, I got a, a, a question from Zhang, who is very very prolific in the Q and A section. Um, but he's got a question about uh, female clients with, with narrow ISA. He says, I, I noticed in my female clients, mostly with narrow ISA, that a lot of them have an anterior pelvic orientation. Uh, one way I use to promote the posterior pelvic orientation is by using the heel ramp and cueing them to tuck. So he's talking about with a squatting activity, I believe. Um, but I see very little improvement. Uh, is this a good strategy for a narrow ISA? Will it promote further inhalation bias, which defeats the purpose of creating the posterior orientation? Okay. So first thing we want to do is we want to deconstruct this and we want to identify what we're really looking at to begin with. Let me grab the pelvis. It is way over here. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see it from behind. So Zhang, what you're dealing with primarily is the, the fact that when you have this, this narrowing of the ISA, you're going to have a, a posterior uh, compressive strategy near the apex of the sacrum, so the lower part of the sacrum, um, right from the get-go. So this is the difference between the wides and the narrows, is that the wide is going to have this space open to start, the narrows are going to have this space compressed. Then you're going to see a later com compensatory strategy where you're going to get the posterior compression farther up, which is near the base of the sacrum, and then that's going to start to drive this anterior orientation. So here's the dealio. With, with some of your narrows, when you try to get a posterior orientation, um, especially with the heels elevated squat pattern, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see even more closure. They're gonna actually compress this. And so these are the, your little butt squeezers. And so these are the people that I say that they're hiding a hundred dollar bill in here and you're never gonna get it back, okay? So uh, it may not be the best cue, but you do have a strategy that, that may work. So one of the things that you have to recognize about the posterior compressor strategy as at, at the uh, base of the sacrum is that this musculature picks up uh, IR uh, a moment, an, an internal rotation moment as it pushes the pelvis forward. So under these circumstances, if you wanna use the heels elevated squat variation, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put a band around their knees. Now, this is not the, the push the knees out into the band kind of a strategy. This is maintaining a parallel orientation of the femurs in line with the knees, in line with the feet as they're squatting. So what you're doing is you're holding position against the resistance of the band. And what that does is it allows this musculature at the base of the sacrum to eccentrically orient. Now you're gonna to start to see the ability to counter nutate uh, normally as you would see with an inhaled uh, bias uh, of the axial skeleton. Because what, what your narrows with this, this uh, posterior compression have is they can't get the sacrum to move under those normal circumstances. So the band becomes very, very useful under those circumstances. You have alternative strategies as well. So in some cases, in some cases, body weight is just too much load for some people to to manage um, through these dynamic movements and so you have to unweight them and so this is where we start to use alternative positions like quadruped uh, prone inversion activities work really really well something as simple as as a child's pose in yoga can can be the solution here once you recapture enough hip extension then move them to half kneeling progressions and you'll see a, a, a pretty monster change at that point but you've got to get them from from this this position where they've got this this anterior orientation first and like i said one of the easier strategies is just simply to add the 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 banded squat um, rather than just using the the heels elevation as the only influence there so hopefully Zhang that answers your question there we have to do a quick Q&A because I got a bunch of mentorship calls today looking forward to, to this week um, if you have any questions send them to askbillhartman at gmail.com askbillhartman at gmail.com and I'll see you guys tomorrow